Greetings, I hope you're having a good day. I've done a few videos about the Ablitu blooper and this will be the final one and I will show you how to loop with the Amplitube in built 8-track recorder. It's actually pretty easy because there are situations when you do not for example have the switch which is practically needed to to operate it properly so I'll show you how, you, how to do it now. Let's go. So of course you can do it with with a DAW as well. If you have a Pro Tools Reaper or something like it, it works pretty much the same. First you have to click on the icon of the A-Track recorder and choose Audio Track 1 and press the R so it's red, so it's armed. Now you choose an amp for it just have a little look and on the right side you can click on the metronome so it's helpful at least in the beginning when you are creating the first first just wanted to check out that I'm in in rhythm so now you press the record so it's eight bar loop That's quite okay, so I will keep that one. You can trim the loop to exact 8 bar, but it's not really necessary because you have to put the loop start and end points. So it will start looping from that point on until it ends, like this. Now it is looping, so you could hear it. Now you have to choose the next track, same way. I'll just try something if it suits. Arm it. and press record Now it's looping quite okay. As you saw, I panned them left and right, just so the mix is not so <coughs> congested in the in the middle. 
make a little room for the <coughs> third instrument. I'll try to see something which would be suitable for for a lead lead guitar. I'll go with this one. So record. I think I'm going to take off as well the <coughs> the metronome. I don't need it anymore at this point. As you could see and hear, I recorded 16 bars. clicking and popping quite a lot but let's fix it next okay so I'll go to settings and <coughs> make the buffer 512 let's see <laughs> pretty power hungry you re really have to go high on the <coughs> on the buffer but there are no clicks anymore so as you can see I recorded 16 bars and they are all there visible even if it doesn't play the last eight bars but if you want to use them this is the way to to do do it So you shorten it, so <clears throat> the last eight bars are only left and you move it there in the right place. I think it's just about correct, no. I think that is it. So if you want <coughs> to change something or have different ideas, you can you can play it longer than the eight bars or whatever your your loop is. It's still recording it. I'm going back to the original eight bars. Mm -hmm. 
This way you can continue as long as you want and your gear is allowing it you to do it because it, it in in my case I had to raise the buffer to 515 which is quite a lot already so this seems to be a really power hungry app as well software And as I said in the beginning, you can do this with Adore, Reaper, Pro Tools, whatever you have. It's, it's pretty much the same. And finally, you can save the project as well if you want to. It's not maybe the most convenient way to do it, but it's, it's pretty easy. So, happy looping. Thanks for watching.